Well, how far would you go to help someone you don't know? Donate money, purchase a necessity, or try to be their friend? All nice gestures, but would you undergo major surgery to help someone you don't know? Think about it. One Wauwatosa woman did just that, but there's more to this determined mom. She made a decision to change a life through her gift to a stranger. And we had Natasha from the Philippines, Pedro from Brazil. It's clear the minute you enter the Wauwatosa home of Linda and Mark Carlson, they open their hearts to people they've never met. They're all very unique. These are pictures of some of the 10 foreign exchange students the Carlsons have hosted over the years. They had wow. outhouses, they had dirt floors, and for him to come to the United States was a really big transition. Linda Carlson shares another example of her giant heart, scars from a major operation after she made a decision to donate a kidney to a stranger. They do a two inch incision he puts his hand in and he pulls out the kidney from that two inch incision. She was motivated after a friend's 25 year old daughter went into kidney failure and she saw this front page newspaper article. The end of March, the Journal Sentinel ran a front page article that said, you have to share your spare. That inspired the 55 year old to act. And I read that and I was like, you know, I'm healthy. I have two, <laughs> I think. Um, I could, I could do this. So she went under the knife for someone she never met. I thought if I can help just one person get their life back, that would just be awesome. Carlson made that decision before telling her husband. I don't consider myself special. I just, I didn't even hesitate. And I didn't really even ask my family. I just You did? <laughs> yeah. Now you've got four kids. Four kids. And your husband, you didn't ask your family? I kind of just started the process. <laughs> <laughs> Ask for any... forgiveness later, you know. Um, but did anybody say, hey, mom, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> you know, the only one that was hesitant is my daughter, who's an ICU nurse. <laughs> and I was like, really? You you work in this? And she's like, yeah, I know. And that's why I'm hesitant of having she you understand. do this. She understood. Well, she understood the risks. The risks, yeah. Her husband of more than 30 years knew his strong-willed wife would do what she wanted. She's a very independent person. Sometimes when she gets an idea in her head, it's best just get out of the way. But Mark Carlson was also proud his wife wanted the chance to change or save a life. I could quickly see, you know, the motivating factor for Linda on, on why she wanted to do it and why it was important to her and why she felt really great about it. And why would you want to stand in the way of that? You know, it's a great opportunity for somebody. A friend told Linda about a softball coach who was on dialysis. So Linda got tested and found out she was a match to Ken Frankie. The donor coordinator gave her that news. She's like, you're a match. Let Ken know. I said, I don't know Ken. <laughs> How can I let Ken know? I don't know him. Right before surgery, Linda got a chance to meet the man who would get her kidney. He came with his, his ex-wife, his daughter, his son. And this is Ken. But there were so many similarities. He has a daughter named Amy. I have a daughter named Amy. He coaches at Kewaskum High School. All of my relatives are from Kewaskum. Carlson points out there's a bright side to being a living donor. You have basically the best physical of your life. Just to tell you how thorough they are, okay, I'm 55. I had to go back for a second pregnancy test. <laughs> Carlson is healing well. I don't wake up in the morning and say, oh my gosh, I only have one kidney. I mean, life is totally 100% back to normal. I felt like I was called to do this. Once I, once I made that decision. The best part? Now you have a friend for life, Yeah. basically. Yeah, exactly. And Ken, once in a while, he'll be like, you know, your kidney just feels like it wants to come home for a visit. <laughs> So I'm like, let my kidney come home for a visit, Ken. Come on over, we'll have a cup of coffee. And for Linda, she's the perfect example of courage, compassion, and selflessness. I just hope that I can inspire at least one person. If every person who donates their kidney can inspire one more person, it'll be like a chain reaction. People like Linda Carlson could make even a skeptic believe Earth Angels really do exist because even though she gave up one kidney, she clearly has her huge heart.
I want to be an advocate. I want to answer questions for people, let them know that there's nothing to be afraid of, and that you can so change someone's life. She's doing something beyond just her, just living and experiencing, but has given to society as a whole. And I think that's something that's, that's a powerful motivation. What better feeling is there in the world than to make someone's life better? Such an act of courage. Now I should point out this story was filmed right before social distancing became a way of life.